Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to talk a bit about the 30 day minimalism challenge and I thought it would be cool to do a crafty edition. Um, I am having a bit of a sort out and as you can tell I am no minimalist <laughs> but I do want to be more mindful about the things that I keep in my craft room and quite honestly I don't have excuse me I've got hiccups I don't have time to use everything that I have and now that I'm not working I know that I've got the most time that I'm ever going to have so if I don't have time to use it now I'm probably not going to use it so I decided that I would pass some things along to other people um, so I'll be doing some d stashes and also um, kind of tracking my pro as I go along and um, so yeah if you're interested in getting some crafty d stash bargains or just curious about how much junk I've acquired <laughs> over the last 15 years you are welcome to join along and if you know anyone else who's interested like a new crafter or somebody who's trying to pick up some supplies for a smaller amount of money because as we know this hobby can get expensive then please do share my videos um, and if you want to join in the challenge and do a sea stash too, let me know. I'd love to see how you guys feel about it and your process too. Um, I don't know if I will be able to find the full 500 things. So um, the challenge is that on day one you get rid of one thing, day two, two, th day three, three, etc. up until 30. And in total you'll have 500 items. But... Um, I might have 500 items, I don't know, but I'm going to do the 30 day challenge until I either complete 30 days or I don't have anything left in my craft room that I want to dis uh, give away or sell or discard or throw away, whatever. So um, yeah, and I'm also going to be exploring different ways of passing on supply, so it's not just going to be selling um, my items like on eBay or offering it to you guys on YouTube it might be giving to charity and things like that so yeah and oh and different churches and my auntie runs groups and all sorts of things so if you guys are interested um keep watching and I'll get into the first thing I'm going to do stash and that is this 60 color set of Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. I love these pens, they are really great. They have a brush um, nib and they are from Japan, I had to import them. Uh, they have quite a good range of colors, if you can see. And I will include in the package, what did I just do with it? The color chart. Why did I put it on the floor? <laughs> um, so this is the colour chart that I made. It is on watercolour paper, so it should be a true representation of the actual colour. Um, these watercolour markers are the best ones that I've tried for uh, blending them out. Um, the only reason I'm not keeping them, honestly, is because my friend Loki bought me the Arteza 96 set and because that was a gift I'd rather keep those even though these are probably technically better quality than the Arteza ones in fact they're definitely better quality I just don't need both so yeah I'll be selling these for £50 and the reason being is they cost me 95 to buy and I had to pay import and shipping and stuff and that's under a pound a marker which is great and i will also include this pad of bristol smooth cardstock this is uh, supposedly the best cardstock for using with your zig brush markers um yeah so I'll be including that so anybody who buys these can literally start crafting they don't have to worry about what paper to get and stuff you can also use these on watercolor um, cardstock which is what I used to do until I heard about the Bristol smooth so I will include that 
And I suppose the only thing to say is that um, if you want to buy these off of me, you need to have a PayPal account because it's going to be PayPal only to the UK and uh, friends and family payment. And I will send them out probably second class. So if you guys are interested, let me know, send me an email and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye.